Hey everyone, it's Veiled Shot back at another video, and today we're going to be going over the Ace Hero Intro Grell, so the new Legendary Champions coming out. They released it in like a League of Legends Champion Spotlight type video, so I believe the abilities start at, where was it, uh, 40 seconds here. Um, I have not seen them, so these are my initial reactions, but uh, we're not going to have much to comment on until we have the abilities, so let's go. Long gone are the days since the Bantus of Croesus held sway over Aurelica from the seat of their vast empires or built magnificent structures imbued with magic, rarely seen since ancient days. Centuries have come and gone, leaving little else but the sacred Ramos Temple, still standing tall as an impressive sight to match the setting sun and the occasional desert ruin. Today's Bantus are few in number and, like Garel, mostly devoted to the quiet patronage of an ancient tradition from within their secluded sacred temple. Garel is a fire, single-target DPS hero who can deal um, this is rough because you need to deal more than Orac uh, in a lot of cases because you're using single target fire DPS for Tulpa, for Mathasia killing it in um, Void Tower. You know, Cyrus just kind of fills the role of AoE or Valyria. Valyria is the best AoE fire damage dealer. So we'll have to offer something else or just do more damage than Orac. We'll see though. Deal an enormous amount of damage to one enemy in his Azure estate. Hero ability showcase. Trait, flaming Azure. Each attack grants rage. When the Rage Gauge is filled, removes all negative effects, and activates Azure State. So this looks like a two-turn uh, locked buff or transformation or something. It, it, it's just giving him these bonus, I imagine, bonus effects towards the rest of his abilities for two turns. And then he'll probably pop out of it and have to restack that Rage. Basic ability, Flaming Fists. Gorel deals rapid damage to one enemy and inflicts bonus damage if the target has a positive effect. Okay, so we have 600 and then 708. Looks like a 17% damage increase. This looks like no gear, so that's pretty cool. When in Azure State, this will also deal extra damage. All right, this looks like base stats as well. It looks like it doesn't ha or hasn't changed, which means that you're getting quite a bit of damage. Uh, my guess is maybe what six, if he's a, a bruiser type character, maybe 6k HP or something like that, which means that this multiplier is, what is that, 15%? 10% would be 600, 15% would be 900. That's not bad based on Gorel's max health. Special ability, Inferno Shot. When attacked, boosts the lifesteal of this character and counterattacks with basic abilities. Triggered. All right, so it's triggered up to once per round, which is mm, probably good enough um, for Tulpa, but for Void Tower, you, I mean, if he is a fire DPS and he's a bruiser while also being lifesteal like a drain tank, I would prefer to put him in where he's gonna be tanking the hits. Um, and it's only going to be triggered once per round, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, still solid and doesn't look like there's up an to once per round. Ultimate ability, Enraged Chain. Grants attack up and defense pierce up before dealing enormous damage to an enemy. Plus All right, we're going to go over the Asura one in just a second, but getting defense pierce up and attack up is massive. Those are defense pierce ups particularly is massively massively important for tulpa specifically tulpa has a massive base defense so um this is already looking better for tulpa let's see what the Azure state does plus bonus damage based on Gorel's max health when in azure state all right so if we see here the tulpa is level 25 so i'm not impressed by these damage numbers here um i i, I we have no idea realistically but you can clearly see that the Azure state does a ton of extra damage based on max hp so this is already looking like a very very solid bruiser type character maybe we go high crit rate high crit damage high hp and then we forego the attack which which would be interesting but you get attack up which means that maybe attack up is worth building on him we'll have to see obviously but this is a massive increase in the asura state's very very important as you can see recommended gameplay Gorel is a fire hero with strong single target damage potential which makes him an outstanding choice for Roaring Tulpa. His attack up and defense pierce up buffs will help him break Tulpa's shield with ease. The extra damage from his trait and the defense... Um, I'm, I'm not particularly convinced that he's going to be killing Tulpa. Um, we'll see. But what I will say is that it'll be easier to gear him than someone like Asrina, for example. But I just don't know if that's good enough to replace someone like Orak 
Um, I'm sure he'll, if you get him, he'll be a great Tulpa character, but you're still going to be running your Oracs. Um, and if you're running Orac, I, I imagine it'll be better for Void Tower, just off my initial impressions. Unless you need a tankier version that maybe deals less damage, but usually you just want to go and one-shot him. However, with this new Void Tower, it might be better here uh, to run this Bruiser-type DPS-type unit, so we'll see. Pierce-up from his ultimate make Garrel an excellent tank killer allowing him to bash those slow and tanky stall teams to pieces. Awaken Chaos Era. All right, well, that was it. So their recommended gameplay is, let me actually, <laughs> their, their recommended gameplay is basically kill exactly what I said. <laughs> um, kill off those high ta tankier type characters that are particularly wood affinity. So Mathasia, Tulpa. That's initially what I thought. Right now, that, that uh, spot is filled by Orac. So you need one or one of two things in order for you to use this character over Orac. One, he either needs to have really, really high multipliers or really, really nice base stats so that you can get more damage out of him. Or two, he does a solid amount of damage, but is very, very tanky, uh, which is very, very possible here. And you use him because although Orac would do more damage, you'll get more value out of him because you'll survive longer. So overall, I'm really, really liking the aesthetic of this type of character. I think he's really, really cool looking, um, but I just don't, I'm not impressed by this single target fire damage. Um, let me know what you all think in the comments down below, but when I think single target fire damage, I think Orac. If I think fire damage, I think Cyrus or Valyria. I'm just not seeing a real big use out of him, um, especially since a lot of you are running him in, or Void Tower with nuke comps if you are later on in the game. If you're running a tank comp, I don't know if he'll fit, but perhaps he will. Perhaps he'll fit uh, in a place of maybe like Rog or Charles or something. I don't know. Let me let me know if you all think of a different idea, but I'm just not super impressed over um, this character in regards to single fire DPS. I think they did a great job on the aesthetics, and I think he looks really, really fun, and I'm sure he's great in the spots that he's in. I just don't know how many spots that is. So let me know what you all think. I will be back for the next one.